thought I'd go out here and show you while this is happening what robbing looks like and how easy it is to spot in spring if you have weak hives or you have a hive that's not doing very well the other bees know it and uh, let me just turn this around here kind of show you something here so on this hive we have some guard bees here they're set up if I hold this camera here long enough you'll see bees coming in they're bringing in pollen I'll try to get that to capture they've been bringing in pollen fairly regularly this week the above average temperatures And of course, earlier when I was getting ready to film this, there was bees coming in left and right, bringing in pollen. <laughs> Either way, you can kind of tell, I'll come back over to this, but you can kind of tell what the activity looks like. Then we can go over to this hive and we can look at it, you've got kind of the same thing. You got some guard bees, you got some bees bringing in pollen. Just saw that one bringing in pollen. And now, let me show you this one over here. This is actually the hive that was a dead out. And I left all the frames in there and there was a little bit of honey, but not much to worry about. So, other bees in the neighborhood have realized this hive has resources in it, but there's no bees. There's nothing guarding their front entrance. There's wasps down there. They're literally just in there shredding the honeycomb, trying to get whatever they can from it. And if I kind of bring it back some you can tell just all the activity at the front of this also up here you can see that there are bees trying to get in by not using the door I don't know why it's not being guarded but that's another kind of a sign that you got some robbing going on if you see bees that are trying to enter the hive not through the front door So we can just watch this and you can watch the bees going in and out. You'll never see anything bring pollen in. No matter how long I hold this here, you'll never see them bringing pollen in. This, these are not the bees for this hive. This hive was totally empty. These are bees, could be from one of my hives, could be from someone else's bees from two or three miles away. Anyways, hope you kind of see that now. All the activity in front of that one. The other two, they have activity. Nothing like that. Go back over here. Kind of watch these guys again. If I sit here long enough, we'll see them bring in pollen. I'm not going to hold up and just make you sit and watch these bees for forever though. It was more the fact that the one hive has a whole bunch of activity that is typical of robbers. A whole lot of flying, a whole lot of bees trying to break in, you know, places that aren't the main entrance. You can see there's not a single bee anywhere except for at the front of this hive. If we go over to this other one that wasn't being robbed, you can see it's the same way. There won't be a bee anywhere except for the front of the hive. And then you come over to this one. You got all this activity in front of the hive. You got bees trying to get in on the sides. You got a wasp up there also. I saw bees trying to get in the back earlier today. I saw bees. Yeah, look at this again 
They're just trying to get in. They don't care how they get in. They're just trying to get in. So hopefully these tips will help you. You know, I, I left the front of this hive open because there wasn't really... There, there wasn't even half of a frame of resources in this whole entire hive. So, uh... I just left it open because I'll let these bees that are robbing it clean the frames up. <laughs> save me some work. And, uh... Couldn't get lucky enough for a swarm to move in there automatically, but that'd be okay too. Anyways, that's all. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Pip squeak!